Hey South Florida. Hey South Florida. Hey South Florida. I'm Alexis Malord. I'm Alexis Malord. I'm Alexis Malord with another real estate tip. Alexis Malord with another real estate tip. Hey South Florida, I'm Alexis Malord with another real estate tip. Before we get into today's tip, I must answer our question that we left off on last tip, which was, should you buy a home during a seller's market? Now my answer is going to be absolutely yes. Whenever you can afford to purchase a home, whether it's a buyer's or a seller's market, you should go ahead and take the chance to do so. And here is why. Number one reason is because um, when you are renting a home, you are subjected to your landlord's rent. So anytime the landlord feels like they want to increase the rent at the end of the lease, they can do so. However, when you're purchasing a home, your mortgage rate is locked in for 30 or 15 years, whichever, uh, whichever one you choose. So that is a good incentive within itself. Also, remember that I said that the interest rates tend to be a little bit lower when you're in a seller's market. Interest rates are at an all time low right now, so you wanna make sure that you take advantage of that as soon as possible, or as quickly as you can. Another reason why I say buy uh, at, in this market is you don't want life to get in the way of you purchasing your dream home. Anything could happen that might have that might cause you to um, dip into those funds. So we don't want that to happen. We're gonna keep our savings for our home and let everything else happen after we get into our home, right? <laughs> so today's tip is going to be very quick and simple based on something that actually happened to me this week while I was showing a client a home, which was that the seller was very adamant on selling without an appraisal contingency. So first, let me explain what an appraisal contingency is. Basically, when you're purchasing a home um, and you're using financing, the lender is going to order an appraisal. The appraisal tells you what the home is valued at. So at that time for an, um, the appraisal, an appraiser will come out and walk around the house, take pictures, inspect, and then give you a um, numerical value for your home. And this is the number that the lender is going to give you a loan based off that. They're not going to give you a dollar more or a dollar less. So um, when they say they don't want to do an appraisal contingency, means that they don't want the deal to potentially fall through because of the appraisal coming back too low. In that case, if the appraisal comes back too low and you have an appraisal contingency, what either needs to happen is a renegotiation of some sort. Either the seller needs to come down in price or the buyer needs to provide some more money at the closing table. So when a seller says that they don't want to um, close the deal with an appraisal contingency, basically meaning that whatever whatever uh, deal you guys uh, agree to at the beginning, that's the deal that's going to go through whether or not the bank gives you the full amount or not. So for example, the seller that we were just dealing with the other day was saying that um, one of his potential clients or potential buyers was going to give him up to 15% oh, oh, over, up to $15,000 over the um, appraised value. So he had it listed at one price, but that means that basically if the appraised value comes in at lower, the buyer is still going to give him $15,000 over. Now, the question is, is that ideal? Well, it depends on the buyer and also depends on the home. If you feel the home is worth it and you want to forego an appraisal contingency, it's 100% up to you. The only, um, only con to that is maybe overpaying for a home and having negative equity. In my personal opinion, you wouldn't want to have negative equity in a home because what's the point of making this big purchase if you're not going to have any kind of value that comes out of it? 
That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Stay tuned because I have more videos for you guys coming up in the following weeks. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video. And as always, my name is Alexis Malord and I'm so happy to help. Thank you for watching.